Hi, I am Mary Popham with Forest Effects, and today I am going to show you how to make eye-popping, Instagrammable, rotoscoped animation in the newest plugin from Forest Effects, Silhouette Paint, and the host of your choice. Silhouette Paint is an amazing paint plugin that can be used for visual effects shots and creative animations. First thing is first, take a minute to decide on the style of paint you want to create. There is a fun trend on social media videos using paint to accentuate dance and sports videos. I'm going to use Silhouette Paint inside of Adobe Premiere Pro to make this slam dunk really slam. You could also use these techniques for artistic interpretations of roto paint or even simulate real world paintings. It all depends on what your vision is. I will use animation to emphasize the boom by having a swirl travel up the body, down the arm, and around the ball and through the net. I can add emphasis with strokes that move outward from the contact points in the motion where his hand strikes the basket and where the ball connects with the net. The workflow is really easy. Drag and drop silhouette paint onto your clip in the host of your choice. Adobe After Effects, Premiere, Nuke, and Fusion are all supported. And click the Launch Silhouette Interface button. Silhouette Paint will now read directly off your timeline. Workflow is pretty simple. We have clone tools and a very useful blur and grain combo brush called the Blemish Tool. But for this tutorial, I am sticking to hand-drawn paint strokes using a Wacom tablet interface. I simply select my color. Note that you can right-click, top-click on the tablet pen to pick any single pixel or average a color by clicking and dragging the stylus to create a rectangle around the color I need to approximate. Options for brush strokes vary. Sizing is done via open and close brackets or the brush size option in tool options. We can adjust opacity, softness, fall off, flatness, etc. to create my own brushes and I can save my desired brush as a preset here in the preset section. So let's get started painting. I'm going to follow the motion of this young man dunking this basketball, and to do that, I will animate on twos, so to speak, because this is a 24 frames per second animation. Most animated movements can be done with 12 drawings per second, and since this is the standard for most animation, it feels right to the viewer. Just like traditional animation. But to give this extra pop, I will duplicate the brush strokes by hand for some variation. So first I draw this swirl around the torso. I use the Z key to move backwards and the X key to move forwards. So I hit X and I jump forward to the next frame and trace the strokes in the same place. I go to the next frame and move the swirl further up the talent's body and trace it on the second frame again. I continue with this technique until I've created the movement I like over every single frame. Control Z can undo any strokes I don't like. I have sped this part of the recording up to save time. I paint one frame and trace it over and over and over until the shot is complete. Silhouette records every single paint stroke and is non-destructive, so you can go back and remove strokes. You can even go back and remove a paint stroke that is between two strokes without removing all the layers above it. Then all you have to do is rebuild the frame or frames and you're all set. Once I am done painting, I can save and close. In the Silhouette Paint interface, I can apply my paint as a composite or as only paint. In this case, I want to duplicate my layer and use the original footage as a background layer. For my Silhouette Paint layer, I can toggle the Composite Paint option off and apply effects to my paint stroke however I like. To add some more style to my shot, I like to use effects on top of the animation. Let's add some of the other effects in the Boris FX family of products. I have applied the Sapphire Filter S-Glow to bring out the atmosphere of the shot, and I can use a tool like Continuum's Hue, Saturation, and Brightness to animate the color over time, too, so that we get some variation as the stroke moves up the body to the ball. When I am done, I have this slam dunk of a shot ready to wow my followers and create more engagement with my content. To learn more about the newest addition to our Boris Effects toolset, Silhouette Paint, please visit us at www.boriseffects.com where you can find free training videos, official documentation, Boris FX news, artist interviews, case studies, and so much more.